Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. I'm Lydra, and I'm really excited to get to play with you guys again. Uh, so, on my last episode, I found out what was going on with the grain shortage, and I got everybody to just agree not to do anything crazy until after um, more grain arrives. And I also investigated the situation with uh, Naunton, Pearly, and Ingrid. Uh, so, on this episode, I'm thinking that I might go take care of the quest that Kaliska's sister sent me on. Um, so I need to go to Anslog's compass for that. Uh, so that quest is uh, here, a mother's plea. Um, so I need to go talk to a midwife down there who might have um, some kind of solution for Ofra's child. Um, so let's get started. Eh? Um, between uh, sessions, I did go ahead and clean up my inventory a little bit. Um, so I'm going to quickly show you the characters, uh, their armor right now and um, weapons. Um, I just made sure that everybody had armor and weapons for um, both their available slots. Uh, nothing special. I didn't do any big um, optimizing yet. And then I also just sold a bunch of stuff, so now I have um, more copper. So let's get going. Um, you know, before we leave, I think I'm going to go ahead and rest. Welcome. Uh, these rooms, they can give you like a bonus to your stats. And I think uh, for today's session, I'm just going to go with a one perception, one mechanics bonus. Uh, I like to perceive things. So, All right, great. So now that we're all rested up, everybody's got full health and spells. Let's get started. Okay, just headed out of town. Um, and it looks like I'm going to need to explore another area before I'll be able to find Anslug's compass. So we're going to go down to Magrand's Fork and uh, clean that map. I know I said that uh, today's session would be going to Anslug's compass, but we might not actually get to do that quest. It might be uh, just cleaning this map just because of how long maps take. Uh, but let's talk to this guy and see what he has to say. Ah, uh, oh, hello there. Begging your pardon, but you gave me a good fright. I thought I heard something rustling through the brush. Suppose that was just you. Silly me. Don't suppose you happen to need some supplies. I thought I'd make my way to Madame Bridge, but I'm starting to think I'd be better off heading back to town and getting a few more folks together. Seems a little nervous for it to have just been me. Better safe than sorry, right? Say, did you hear something? Hmm. Okay, so there's probably monsters near here. Let's. Oh, there's a wolf. Okay. Oh, uh, let's start it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just, right now, like, this wolf isn't really doing any damage, so that's why I'm focusing on not using any special skills. Um, looks like my villager is safe. Ooh, he's, oh, he's recovering, though. Okay. By every star in the sky, thank you. I've never seen these beasts so bold before. Strange times we're in. Here, take these. I'm headed back to Gilded Vale for certain, and you can make better use of them. You've gained an item. Three times potions of minor endurance. Fantastic. Well, glad I was here. Eyes are peeled. Uh, let's see. We're going to stay stealthed. Um, going through the map just because there's probably more wolves and other monsters. Oh, here we go. 
speak of the devil. <clears throat> okay, so we got two wolves this time. So, oh, a lot more than two. Okay, well, let's start by knocking one of them down, and Aloth can throw down one of his arcane. I'm going to go ahead and switch from blast weapons to my sword so I can like properly engage this guy. But then I'm going to go ahead and do one of these blasts. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to go ahead and use another blast here. And um, my second win for sure. Yeah. Oh no, I went down. Okay. Um I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and start um <laughs> playing more aggressively on this fight, I think. Um This is clearly the time for it. Hi. Okay. So we're just going to try to get this one down completely. Um, okay, let's see, we're gonna fan these flames over this direction. Um, I'm gonna check this one. Okay, actually, so Edder's gonna come over. Ooh, that one's fairly healthy. Okay, yeah. Um, let's see, Corrosive Siphon will get me some Endurance, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, all over the place. Oh, great. Okay, that worked really well. Okay. Um, perfect. Okay, we're going to come around this way. Um, we'll just use a second wind. I think we're getting to the end of this fight. Um, and we're going to both focus on this one wolf until it's down. Oh no, he's pretty injured again. Um, we'll just go ahead and cross up Siphon again. It's not ideal, but... Oops. Okay, well, Edder, it's all you. Uh, let's see. Edder can kill one wolf, though. <laughs> I mean, he did it last time. Um, that was really unexpected. Uh, so far, the fights at this level have been really easy, and I think I got a little bit overconfident. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't managing tactically at all. Um, but we'll just, we'll change that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. so Aelot's actually in pretty bad shape at this point. Um, he has bruised ribs. I have, um, a twisted ankle. And then Aelot is down to only one level two spell and two level one mm. spells. Um, it's not the yeah. worst but I am going to think about camping relatively soon just to resolve that situation. Nice so I'm going to just be making sure that I'm stealthing at all times. Nice and quiet. Um, so that if I find a fight that I think is going to be a little bit too much for these characters to handle, that I can uh, pull back and rest. Um, I like to avoid resting as much as possible, just because it uses up camping supplies and also because um, also because um, you get a bonus for having slept in the inn and that does wear off after you've camped too many times. I think I think it takes two or three times before it wears off but oh so um, as I've mentioned before I have played this game before. So in this area, I know that there are will-o'-wisps, 
The thing that's been interesting for me is that I did play on a harder difficulty setting, and so I'm coming into some of these fights being surprised by the number of um, the number or the like level of some of the uh, creatures. So, for example, sometimes I'll expect to be facing three wolves, and instead it's one wolf and a young wolf or something. So. I'm used to this fight being multiple will-o'-wisps, but I suspect at this setting it's going to be one, so I'm just going to fight the one um, and hope for the best. <laughs> and this time we won't be quite as... Um, I won't hold back quite as much. Um, I'm not sure if knockdowns do anything at all to will-o'-wisps, because they're just like little gas clouds. Um, but I'm going to give it a shot, so here we go. Hey. Okay, yeah, that was that was so easy. Um, we're almost go. done. Oh, it's regaining health. Uh, not enough. <laughs> okay, nice and cool. Quiet. So that was easy enough. Um, Aleph is now down even more hit points, so I'm definitely going to have to have him hang back for sure. I've got some Orland's Cradle. There's a little brick that's loose. Let's see, we've got a scepter, an agate, some lockpicks, and some... Copper, that's perfect. Um, there is a house over here that I'm going to want to check out. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, so we've gotten all the way to the edge, so it makes sense to start looping back over. Uh, let's see. Okay, so before I enter this house, I'm going to just quickly save um, so that if there's something really surprising in there that attacks me, nothing terrible is going to happen. All right, so it looks like it's actually just an empty house. Let's see, got some fruit. That's weird, right? Like, I <laughs> hope that's dried fruit. Um, this house definitely doesn't look like it's been inhabited recently enough for that fruit to be any good. Um, then again, there's a loaf of bread on the table. Like, I don't know. Okay, I get that grappling hook just in case. Um, all right, I'm just gonna. Um, I want to check on my map if that house has any kind of name. It just seems seems a little odd, right? Like, okay, well, sometimes there's just ruined houses in the middle of the woods. Mm -hmm. Oh, Durant. Saw you in the flames. Oh, I hate this guy. Okay. Durant. Squatting at the base of this statue is an incredibly ugly man with bulging red cheeks raked by pox scars and scraggly beard. He's sweating as if he has fever, but his breathing is measured and steady, like a slow push of a blacksmith's bellows, but that compulsion feels strange and unwelcome. The next comparison, possibly sparked by his grin, is that of a bear trap, and then out of nowhere, there is the hint of alchemical fire that fades almost as soon as you identify the smell. Come to pray at the statue. The question mark is barely there. As the man makes the statement, the statue takes on the reddish cast, as if one is holding a torch to it, then slowly blossoms into wavering flames. The man doesn't turn, as the statue blossoms into fire. The others are welcome, but it's best if just you and I trade words, and your shadows stay quiet. Hands off their weapons, both arcane and steel. It's only you I want to trade words with anyway. I swear before the whore that is Margaret, no harm will come to you in her shadow, if that's enough of a promise for you. If not... A staff rests easily in his hand. It wasn't there a moment ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to examine the statue. The weaving firelight from the statue gives off no heat, 
So much so, you wonder if it is some trick of the mind. The ugly man before you doesn't seem to notice it or feel it, although, although the sheen on his brow is still present, as if he's burning for, up from within. Study the man. <clears throat> the sudden weaving flames from the statue of Magran cast more light on his features. The man's robe are dirty, stained with grease and other marks of the road. The hems of his robes, including the sleeves, are burned at the edges, as if he walked a great distance across a fire, then reached into the flames with his hands to pull something out. But while his hands are thick and calloused, they bear no burn or scorch marks. Focus your gaze on the staff. The staff looks thick, stout, of blackened ash, once burned by a terrible fire. Beneath the ash, the lines in the wood bear shapes and patterns, and there is a certainty the staff was once something far more dangerous. But not now. As you study it deeper, it shimmers slightly in your eyes, like water catching the light weaving across the statue. Whatever power was bled from the staff, it doesn't make it, or the wielder, any less dangerous. You look up to see the man watching you studying the staff. As his gaze meets yours, he nods with a humorless smile. Okay. I'm going to say, strange choice of company. Stone seems cold comfort. The man smiles slightly at your words, then nods, never taking his eyes off you. I could do better, though the road holds little else. His eyes run the length of your frame, and he follows it with a sneer. Until now. The world holds many whores we worship. Respect comes with honest titles. I bet even you have gone against instinct in exchange for little copper, or paid for such in countless ways. But if I give offense... If words are all that are left to a man, then why in the Deerwood of all places he should have leave to speak them? I didn't catch your name, or why you want to speak with me. I didn't give it. You probably find names as useless as I do. The names that litter this world like debris are hard enough to wrap around the tongue. And what do they matter? It's what's beneath the skin in the letters I care about. What burns within? It's more important to me you're a watcher than whatever culture or accent decorates your letters like awkward crowns. Take pride in your actions, not where you hail from. Or how your name rolls off whatever liar's tongue coats it now. If you need a title to hang on me to match your own watcher, then call me Durance. And as you observe souls, I test them. How did you know I was a watcher? Durance shakes his head, and his hand curls tightly on his staff. I can see the questions bubbling up. Let's burn them away, one by one. I am a missionary. I walk this diseased nation with its heathen, its people so careless with the spirits of others and their own, watchers among them. Yes. I know you for what you are, and your name doesn't interest me. Names are for honest folk, and you are a crack that shines light from... another place. We're meant to travel together, you and I. Saw you in the flames. Not your face, but that soul of yours. All tightened up, like a huntsman's knot. You saw my soul in the flames. There's things we can teach each other. If you're in need of answers to your mantle of questions. I don't force my words on anyone other than you. I don't care who walks with you or what their mewling problems and politics are. There's enough howling in the world without me stoking that fire. I won't take from your provisions. Don't need much on the road. I can carry my weight, which is considerable. <laughs> 
Many will stand against you. They probably already have, from what I can see. Left their marks, it seems. Like a trail, worming its way behind you. What kind of marks? Disease? Spirit wind? Both could have touched you, yet here you stand. As for disease, not all of us were close to water when the pox hit. But it's no longer a passenger in my flesh. It left its marks as well. But like flames, the pox doesn't strike twice, nor is it catching. Oh. I'm going to say, if your stone mistress allows it, then come on. Her? Don't fear her jealousy. Let us see what the road holds, Watcher. All right, so now I have Durant. Mm -hmm. um, he's a priest, uh, so he's really helpful in the party. He has some interesting quest lines. I will admit that I do not like him as a person, um, but I kind of feel like you're not really supposed yeah. to. So um, <laughs> uh, we'll just move forward. Um, for now, I'm going to save um, his leveling up until I have a little time to think about uh, what role I want him to play in my party in terms of um, uh, skill specialties and what will suit him best, but um, we'll get him all leveled up soon. Oh, look, okay, so there is actually a secret here. Let's see what it is. What do you suppose that barley thing is? Stone... Right of the untamed wind. Okay, cool. Hmm. Spell and a gem. Okay, so we got another wolf. Um, let's take just a second to see. Um, if it's just the one, and also to move. Aloth very much to the back. Okay, great. So now we're going to attack. Uh, Aloth can trail behind. Now that I have four people in the party, uh, it should certainly be much easier. Uh, and Edder can start by just knocking the wolf down. And... I'm going to lay down a few arcane assaults. Lay down a few arcane hmm. assaults. Great. Okay. Wolf pelt. No problem. Easy breezy. Let's see. Okay. So now we're all the way to this side of the map. So we're going to start. Crossing back over, um, back in nice stealth mode, quiet. just in case. Don't want to miss any treasures or get caught unawares by monsters. Let's see. Okay, so we have some Audra pillars. Um, and there's a person here. Let's see. It's dead, it looks like. Okay, so we have a corpse with a, with a weapon. Might as well. Uh, looks like we've got some St. Grant's Horn. Um, now we're at the bottom. Okay. Cool. So let's go back up and check out this Audra structure. Your reflection warps and twists in the living, gleaming Audra. Okay. Um, so it looks like this might not have any... Um, oh, interesting. Look, there's a ghost coming by. Um, let's just watch it for a second. I'm curious. Okay. Um, that might not have meant something, it might have been just like an environmental effect. 
um, just kind of more more setting in terms of what Audra is and what it does. Um, okay. All right, so we've got a young boar. I'll see how many of them there are. Again, we're trying to keep yes. Aloth from going under again. Um, so this time I'm going to have um, my character move up to this first boar. And um, Durance is currently here engaged with this boar. So I'm going to move Edder. Oh, it looks like there's like... Um, block in the tree line here. So I'm going to have Edder move even further out. There we go. Edder can get that one. And now um, Aloth will be able to attack here in the center. Um, okay, we'll do that again. And my character is having some health problems. <laughs> so... I'm going to go ahead and second wind. Uh, let's see. Um, Durance, I'm going to use his Holy Radiance. He's a little bit underpowered right now because I didn't level him up. Um, and I'm going to see if Edder can knock down the boar that um, my character is fighting just because... I don't want her to go down. Okay, great. Okay, so that boar is down. So now um, she's going to come fight Edder's boar. Edder's going to fight his own boar again. Um, and Aeloth can start arcing blasting all of them. Oh no, one of them escaped. Okay, so we'll have Durance come up and fight that one. And uh, this one's almost down, so we'll focus. Oof, I did go down. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, and now we're all gonna focus on this one with just basic attacks. I don't think Edder has any more knockdowns. Um, great. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I have my hides. I'll see what I can find. Okay. Make a little bit more progress on the map before I decide if I want to rest. Um I'm not going for like a really fast completion or anything of the game. I just want to enjoy the stories, so there's no harm in resting. I just like to be careful about it. Oh, okay, these guys, I'm pretty sure they're going to fight me. So we're definitely going to rest. Um, and we'll just go ahead and camp right here. Uh, oof. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and level Durance up by one because I know for sure I'm going to want him to have access to those damage reduction bonuses. Um, so we're going to give him that survival. Uh, you know, I'm going to... Yeah, we'll focus on Durance's survival for now. Um, and then for class, um, so I do like these um, radiances. Um, the aggrandizing radiance is not really my thing because it reduces his effectiveness as a healer and I really do want um, 
endurance to be my my heels. <laughs> I don't have anybody else right now. Um, the brilliant radiance is pretty cool, but it only affects. Um, I mean, it doesn't only affect vessels, but it mostly affects vessels and. I just prefer stuff that's a little bit more neutral in that way. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Aspiring, Inspiring Radiance. Um, and we'll worry about his other potential talents in the future. Um, oh, it's going to have me level him up multiple times. Okay, well, we'll just, um, for now, we'll just sink everything into Athletics and Survival because it's kind of a good thing to default to. Um, so now endurance is leveled and we can rest and everybody is going to get uh, something. Okay. I'm just going to keep everybody with damage reduction for now. All right, so let's yeah. go check in on those knights. There, that one. Get that one. Udrana is going to attack me for literally no reason. Um, this is so crazy to me. Like, you just meet some random people in the woods and you just attack them for no reason. Um, I could have set this tactically up a little bit better, but um, that's fine. Um, I'm going to have Aloth lay down. Ooh, Aloth doesn't have that spell. I forgot. Um, I gotta get him slick in like right away. So Leader's gonna yell, lay down some slick in. Um, and then I need to keep an eye on where I put it. Um, so Durance is gonna come up here. Uh, Edder will come up okay. here. Um, I'm gonna try to pull Aloth back a little bit. Perfect. Okay. So. There we go. Durance. And then um, I'm going to have Aloth focus on ranged here. Uh, fantastic. So she's down. She won't be doing any spells for a little bit. Um, and I think I'm actually... Hmm, um, we'll just let this play out for just a little bit. Um, okay, so Lujana's in a lot of, a lot of hurt. So we're going to go ahead and get another one of these on her. And then my character, um, I'm just going to lay down one of my yeah. just basics. Okay, and then we'll have trans do his Holy Radiance. Um, Edder can knock this guy down. Great. Okay, so Ladrana's gone. Um, that's fantastic. And now we'll have Ayla start laying these down. Um, Edder's just gonna, like, attack him. Oh, Ayla went down. It's not been a good day for Ayla. Okay, um, Edder will go ahead and knock somebody else down. Uh, I am going to just attack this guy. Okay, um, I'm going to take second wind. I'm going to have Durance take second wind. Uh, Edder is going to attack this guy. Okay, perfect. Okay. Well, they were pretty easy to solve. Um, yeah. Okay, and I have a new um, spell book, which would be nice. Yeah. Uh, I will worry about that uh, at another time, but it's nice to have. 
I'm just gonna kind of my eyes are peeled. Clear the map. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I do kind of wonder what um, those gold packed paladins tie back to because sometimes when I play games, I just don't pay a lot of attention. It's actually one of the reasons I wanted to start my YouTube is I thought that um, having to kind of help explain to uh, you guys what it is that was happening would help me, force me to pay attention. And I have already noticed that happening. Um, so the first time I played this game, I just didn't really think about it. It's a video game. These guys want to attack me. I beat them. <laughs> um, but I don't actually know. Oh, here's a troll. Okay, let's see. Um, again, I need to change my party formation. Um, I'm going to do that as soon as this fight is over because... Um, I don't want my wizards at the front. Okay, let's see. Can Edder knock you down? That would be super great if you could. Um, we're gonna do this. And Aeloth is gonna do this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and Radiance. Um, just for the bonuses. Okay, so I don't think this worked. Maybe this, maybe the troll's immune to knockdown. Um, okay. Yes. I mean, this is the end of the map, so um, I'm gonna rest before I leave it. I always like to enter a map clean. Uh, so we have some troll skin, and there's a corpse here. Uh, he has an amulet, some gold, and a letter. Uh, eh? We'll have to read through all of that at some point. And some moss. Let's go ahead and see if there's Eyes any secrets on this cliff. Okay. Alright, well, um... That's a really good place to end it. We cleared the whole map. Um, I'm going to really quickly take a look at that grimoire that we got, because that's a really great way for us to get new spells. Oh yeah, so she has four spells that uh, Leader doesn't know, and four, there are three spells that Aeloth doesn't know. So, um... How much money do I have right now? They cost money for me to learn. Um, I have 944. I don't love her spells, but I do I do like having um, just kind of a better range of spells. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the level 2 spell for Aloth. Uh, that costs 200. Okay. And I'm going to take a... Mm. I'm going to take at least one level 2 spell because I only know two level 2 spells, so I'm not maxing out my options. Um, I'll take Fetid Carcass. I'll take them both, whatever. It's 600 gold. I'll earn it back. Um, so that's it. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rest up.
And then on the next session, uh, we'll go see if we can find Anslock's compass and see if we can help out Afra. So I'll see you then. <laughs>